Good morning, everybody. This is Raven Sky Organic Kitchen Living. And uh, today I'm going to, um, or this morning, I'm going to continue with uh, the build out. Um, I haven't had time lately. I've got to wear many hats in this family. So uh, I'm trying to get this done as quickly as I can within reason. So I've got the, uh, the neck cups. Uh, I was going to go ahead and pop these in. This was kind of the next on the list. And I was going to show you how I did this real quick. So I've got the little two inch neck cups and I'm just going to pop them in there and then push it in with my finger. And it kind of stays right there where it should be. If you watched the last video, we were trying to get the neck cup to fit more up that way so the water would drip on it. So pushing down on the bottom of this neck cup actually pushes it in the, uh, you know, kind of secures it. And we're really just trying to achieve that. So when we pop in the little Rockwell cubes with the, uh, the sprouts, that they will uh, get watered on the back end and soak up the water. So that's kind of what we're doing here. And I'm just gonna throw these nets in. And we're just about done with the build for the most part. I think I've got net cups in most of these holes. I think that one's already got a net cup, except it's facing the wrong way. Oh, this is the one I modified. That's the one where I cut the little lip because I was thinking that that was, we needed to do that. So I'm gonna actually let, keep this one out. I'm gonna put the last net cup in, putting in right here. So we got all the net cups in. Uh, everything's functioning. Uh, the one thing I did want to address, and I actually need to do this before I even start putting on the, uh, the timer, is that, that little seal, this little, um, uh, this little end cap that I put in, it's actually leaking water. And um, I don't wanna glue it in. It's leaking, not a whole lot, but it's enough to where it's, I don't want it to be leaking. This is really the only leak that I found. So um, I've got to find a way. Um, I'm thinking about taking this off real quick. I'm gonna to have to do it with two hands, but I think I'm going to use um, the uh, the white nylon, the white nylon uh, Tef, I don't know what it's called. It's like a nylon tape that you use, uh, plumbers use to put around faucets and sink um, seals and whatnot and gaskets. So I'm hoping that I can put that in there and uh, maybe it'll seal it off without me having to actually glue it. Uh, the problem with gluing it is that once you glue this on here, this is gonna be a permanent um, uh, permanent feature. And I'd really like the option, I think it's better to have the option to pull this off in case we need to separate these two units, the reservoir and the grow tower from each other. So that way we can set it in place. Uh, the other thing I wanted to go over um, is once we have the grow tower put in place wherever we're putting it, um, this right now, I haven't really figured out what I'm doing with. Um, I'm either gonna drill, the, the thing I need to do is I've gotta put this, I've gotta put the grow tower where in place where I'm actually going to be setting it permanently, and then I'll know where I need to either drill a hole in the side of this and then pop this through. That way when I put the lid on, I've got a tight seal keep the light out and debris and everything else. Um, otherwise, I'm gonna have to kind of cut a little slit right in the top of the lid, which I really don't wanna do either, which would actually work. Oh, thanks, Tigger. Tigger's going to the bathroom. So uh, so yeah, that's kind of where we are at the moment. I, I, plugged, uh, I plugged the uh, timer back in, although I, I guess it doesn't really matter right now, but um, yeah, I'm doing a test on the timer also. So once I get this uh, plugged, once I get this sealed up, um, I'm, I'm just gonna leave this the way it is. So we're not gonna deal with that right now until it's fully in place. So that'll be something we deal with later. So once I get this plugged up, then um, I'm gonna go ahead and plug in the pump uh, to the timer. And um, Really, we're just gonna do a test, a 30 minute test, and see if it does the uh, the interval, the 30 minute intervals like I anticipated. And once that's good to go, then I think the whole system is good to go. 
I'm probably gonna wait to zip tie this also until I know exactly where the grow tower is going to be going. So uh, we'll check back later and I'll let you know how this goes here. All right, so I used, uh, I'm sure many, many of you all are familiar with this. Uh, this is um, some type of uh, a plumber's, uh, I, don't, I don't know the name of it, I'm sorry, plumber's adhesive. It's not, it's not an adhesive, it's a Teflon tape uh, for, uh, that plumbers use. And um, kind of looks like this when you go buy it. And uh, what I did, I just wrapped, I wrapped it around this two or three times, and I'm hoping that it, uh, I'm not really sure if, how this is gonna work, if, it eats, if it's even going to work. I'm just gonna take a, I'm gonna take a hammer and maybe just kind of tap it in. We're gonna have to stop back for that. So I'll let you know here in a minute. So this looks like it might actually work. So it's not fully sealed in there. You can see the little, there's a little crack and that's just because the, uh, the Teflon is kind of built up in the crack right there, pushed in there. So I guess we'll see if it works. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, plug in the timers and stuff, but I do have to put this back on. This terry cloth had to come off. So we'll put that back on real quick. So the, uh, the cheesecloth is doing its job. You can see it's got a little, uh, a little bit of discoloration and some debris in there, so that's actually a good thing. So yeah, the, the cheesecloth works, so we're gonna go ahead and put that back on. All right, so I got the uh, I got the cheesecloth back on here. Uh, this is all tightened up. The uh, pump is on. I took a zip tie and wrapped this up. It was getting in my way, and the timer is plugged in. So we're gonna go ahead and plug this in again. And uh, I think it just pops. I think actually the system comes right on. Oh yeah. I don't know if any of y'all heard that. Okay. So yeah, we got water coming in now. So the timer, I'm assuming the timer is in the on position for somewhere in that 30 minute range. I set it for eight o'clock in the morning. You can see I've got it set at eight o'clock and uh, the system is running at the moment. So I'm gonna let this run pretty much all day and uh, see if I notice it turning on, on off every 30 minutes. And it uh, looks like we're getting enough water in there. It's kind of hard to see. Yeah, you can really you can't see it all, I don't think. See that? Yep. So that's what the water's doing. And I'm assuming that all of these are getting water. This one, not so much. Wait a minute, where's that water coming from? That's not good. Oh man, this thing is still leaking. So that obviously did not work. I'm gonna have to put some more glue on there. Maybe I'll just let that run. I'll let that run for now. I just want to see if the system works rather than keep delaying this. Another water looks okay in there. This one in the back. It's not super great. I guess it's good enough. Yeah. As long as there's something dripping on the back end, that rock wool is going to is going to soak it up. So you gotta check each one of these. I don't have to do all this right here with you right now, but that was that one. It's got water on it. It's not super crazy though. All of these look like they have water on them. Yeah, that's got water. All right, so for the most part, we've got water uh, dripping on all of these. Wrap. This is still dripping. Back to the drawing board on that. Hey, what's up everybody? So I didn't really have a choice but to go ahead and glue this in place. So I went ahead and primed it with the, uh, the uh, cement primer. And we're gonna go ahead and uh, use the cement primer and um, seal that up. It's gonna be permanent, so 
we won't be able to pull it out. I was hoping to do it differently, but to make it not permanent. Uh, the only plus side, I think, at this point is that the joint that we have here, uh, we're still, this is not permanent, so we can still pull this out. Worst case scenario, if we need to get in there for some reason or need to do any modifications here in the future. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this cemented in and um, pop it back in here. And then we're going to plug in the timer. So we got this uh, permanently sealed in here now. Uh, I'm gonna give it about, I don't know, half an hour. And then I'm gonna kick on the timer and we'll kind of go from there. Hey everybody, it's me again. Uh, so we had some technical, technical difficulties. Uh, the, the drainage spout um, disconnected from uh, its uh, little hole right there. And um, apparently the uh, Gorilla Glue that I used uh, did not work very well. And it was actually the cause of the, the dripping. So I don't even think that it was the, the end cap that was dripping. So we have already glued that solid to the reservoir. So there's not much I can do about it now. So now I got to work on reattaching this, uh, this little drip tube here. And uh, I think I'm going to just use uh, super glue. But before I do that, I need to go find it, but I think I'm going to get some sandpaper and um, get this roughed up a little bit here because now I don't have access to get inside here. Unless I cut all these, take this off, and it's, even then I can't get down to it because it's well over 12 inches long. So um, we're going to I'm going to use this little guy here, this little um, super glue gel. It's a little disposable, and uh, we're going to see if we can try to fix that. The second thing that uh, I wanted to uh, bring to your all's attention was, um, well, I guess I can't really do that yet because I don't have the pump on, but. Uh, the, the water, I was actually looking to see the water flow that was coming through here and while the pump was on. And there's not very much water pumping through there. Not nearly as much as I had originally anticipated. So the, the pump that I had originally thought or thought that I was, um, I was an overkill for this system is obviously not overkill. So, um, if I had my choice, I would probably would have um, actually even uh, spent a little bit more more money and got the the next one the the next uh, the next upgraded one, which is I think uh, uh, eight feet vertical pump rather than the six foot one that I got. So that being the case, we are going to try to find some sandpaper, and I am going to um, start prepping this. So I got the super glue here, and because I don't have two hands, I can't hold it up here to show you what I'm doing, but essentially I'm putting your super glue gel um, in around where the cut was made. And um, also around the edges, uh, around the outside of it, just a little bit. And then I'm going to put some super glue actually on here around the edge as well to see if we can maybe uh, seal that up a little bit better. And then once I push it inside, I'm going to put more super glue. And uh, feel free to um, use any method that you would like to in order to get make this work for you. Uh, I'm sure that there's some other supplies that I could probably actually be using I'll end up getting comments and telling me I should have done this or should have done that. But uh, that's kind of the whole kind of the whole point of doing this kind of on the fly sometimes is that you have to work with what you got without spending a bunch of money and just kind of, you know, kind of going that route. So that actually looks pretty decent. Um, I, I hope the seal is going to be good. So we can um, show you here real quick. I think you can see this. So that's kind of what it looks like when I put in there and uh, there probably is some type of cement or something that I could use. And uh, so feel free to um, use whatever method you need in order to uh, get this done properly. Um, one more thing I just wanted to let everybody know was um, 
this build, you really can modify it any way you want to. Uh, there's not one specific way that you have to build this. So if you know an easier way to get something done on here or a cheaper or faster way to do it, by all means do it. Uh, this was really just kind of a prototype and a test grow tower for, uh, uh, in preparation for actually building a, a garden here uh, or a screened in porch garden at some point in time. So, um, so yeah, that's, uh, that's kind of what the deal is, I guess. Um, Oh, one more thing I forgot to mention was if you've gotten this far in the video series of the uh, Vertical Tower um, build out, uh, do yourself a favor and watch the entire series all the way through because I made a lot of mistakes and went back and had to fix them. So if you're watching it from the beginning and you're not watching all the way through first, then you'll probably be making the same mistakes that I am unless you are uh, brilliant enough to catch them, unlike myself. Uh, I also did get um, this little thing here. I think I might have covered this in the last video. I can't remember, but this this thing here that gave me a problem. And uh, so I got this glued up. It's not leaking anymore. And uh, once I get the, once the, uh, uh, the super glue dries, we're actually gonna turn the pump on finally. And, uh, and then I wanna go ahead and show you the, uh, the deal with um, the, the water, the amount of water that's pumping through here and uh, kind of show you what I mean as far as like there not being that much pressure, which I wasn't really crazy about. So uh, definitely in the future, we're gonna be using a, um, a pump that does more water. So be back in a second. Okay, I think this is the last take for this video, finally. Um, uh, I ended up putting some uh, vinyl fabric and plastic uh, flexible adhesive from Loctite uh, around the uh, around the edges here, or around where the uh, the irrigation tube meets the, uh, anyways, right here. You can see what I'm talking about. So this stuff should uh, this stuff should work. Uh, I also used super glue. I wouldn't re I, at this point I wouldn't recommend using super glue because it's not flexible. And the minute this thing starts flexing around because you're trying to move stuff, the um, super glue just cracks. So that's a no-go either. So my dad had some of this laying around, so went ahead and used it. And the uh, cheesecloth looks like it's working. The, uh, the pump is working. And so at this point, everything is pretty much functional. Uh, I finally have the timer on. Where I'm, gonna, I'm gonna let that run today and uh, make sure it works properly. So hopefully it should uh, turn on and off in about every half an hour. I'm anticipating uh, that will work fine. This is uh, one of the things I wanted to show you real quick with the, the pump itself. And uh, I don't know if I still have the, I don't think I have, have the packaging laying around here, but um, if you take this off here, I want you to see, look at that drip. That's like not very much. I can't really see what's inside. So it's not dispersing that much water, really. I think it's gonna be okay, but this, I would say that this, I would say that is an absolute minimum amount of water that you can push through here and probably still use this grow tower efficiently because it is still dripping inside of here. But uh, I think for, um, I think you're gonna need to get a, a stronger pump or invent something that, uh, you know, find out, I mean, realistically, I suppose we could use, we took one of these here and just ran this all the way up, but that's, that's kind of janky sort of, because that's not gonna, I don't, I don't know if that's gonna work or not. I don't really wanna go that route at the moment, but this is, if you get, the more pressure you got going through your, um, your piping here, this is gonna work a lot better. Cause when I was building the, uh, when I was building the organic garden up in Odessa, we had, uh, we had a lot more pressure going through those that that, uh, that quarter inch irrigation and it was pumping through really hard so I know it definitely works that I know it definitely works if you got more pressure so uh, yeah definitely opt for a um, eight, uh, eight foot eight foot plus vertical uh, vertical pump and you can get those at HD or your local home improvement center so that's what I would opt for uh, at the moment grow tower is finished uh, for the most part 
So the only thing we're just kind of experimenting with is the, the timer. And I think that should probably work on its own. But other than that, yeah, I think this video or uh, this video might actually conclude this particular part of the series. Uh, in the um, next series coming up, we're going to discuss the rock will and uh, sprouting the uh, lettuce sprouts. And that too is also going to be a minor experiment. Uh, I don't have a whole lot of uh, experience growing with Rockwell and, spr um, and sprouting, you know, sprouts from that. I do know, um, we did do a little bit when I was in Odessa building, building the organic garden. So I've got a little bit of experience with it, but it's still kind of an unknown factor because that's just all I'm doing here. But uh, we'll get more into that in the rest of the videos. This is Raven Sky. I appreciate everybody hanging out and uh, please like and subscribe. Also, I've got an affiliate link for Amazon down in the description, so you can help support this channel. If you all enjoyed the butterfly, uh, the visit to the butterfly world the other day. And um, so yeah, that's about it. Appreciate everyone stopping by. This is Raven Sky. Peace out.